Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, uh, but more recently I figured out how to actually do my hair routine, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this wash, I decided to wait an entire week. So this is my hair after not washing it for a week. As you see, it is really, really frizzy. It's just like very dry and hard to kind of move apart. So I'm in need of washing my hair right now. <laughs> All right, so for step number one, it's just to get your hair wet. Um, I like to get my hair very, very soaking wet. It just makes it easier to start to pull apart and to comb through and everything. So just make sure your hair is very, very wet and that it's all over your head, not just like your ends or your scalp, it's everywhere. Step two is to start to shampoo. Um, I'm using the Cantu shampoo that I have showed you in my last video, or not my last video, my two videos ago, the hair products. Um, so basically with this, you just wanna get a good amount on your head and just start working it. As you can see, it's getting really, really frothy already. I just put a little bit on, so a little bit goes a long way with these products. So as you can see, I'm just trying to get it everywhere. I'm moving my hair apart so it's getting on every end. You just wanna clean it out really good. And then I start to um, scratch my scalp so that it's getting down to my scalp as well because I have thick hair. So if I don't do that, my hair will literally smell like mold if I don't get all the way down to the scalp since it could still be wet and have material still in it. Step number three is to obviously start rinsing it out. So just make sure you get all the product out. You don't want to keep any shampoo in your hair. Um, you always want to keep a little bit of conditioner, but never shampoo. Moving on to step number four, my favorite part is conditioning. So I just have my Cantu conditioner and I am just putting a little bit on my hands first and then just kind of moving it around my head and then I'm starting to put it in. That way it gets all over your head. It's not just a lot on your scalp or a lot on your ends. It's getting a good amount everywhere. Um, so just work it through your hair. I probably do two or three rounds of conditioner just to make sure my entire head has been conditioned. And once I put my conditioner in, I begin to slowly comb it out at the ends. Um, I just want to make sure that the ends are a little combed out. You don't really have to comb out your entire hair, but I just comb it out just a little bit because with conditioner in, it just makes it a lot easier. But when I do my deep conditioning routine, which I will film very shortly, that's when I really comb out my hair, and that's once a week too, so my hair gets combed out. But in the shower, I just do a little bit when I wash my hair just so make sure it's not all, you know, knotted when I get out. Step number six is just to leave it in for five minutes. Um, during this time, you can turn off the shower and still comb out your hair if you want to, but I usually wash my body and do my other shower routine during this time. It just makes it better to just leave it in your hair. That way it really soaks up everything. And then next, you're just gonna rinse it out again. Um, but like I said earlier, don't rinse everything out. Try to leave just a little bit in your hair. Um, I don't know why it always works, but if you leave just a little bit of conditioner in your hair, your hair looks really, it just looks a lot better. Um, so just rinse out a little bit here and there and just leave a tiny bit left in your hair. So after you trim off your shower and before you get out of your shower, I like to put in my leave-in conditioner while I'm in the shower, just makes it easier since I'm already in there. Um, so I just put a little bit on my hand again and then I just slowly work it through my hair and just make sure you get it from your scalp all the way to your ends because you just want to leave not as lot but as much as you need to make your hair like very soft and moisturized. Once your leave-in conditioner has been incorporated, I put in the Shine Custard after this. And basically all this does is just makes your hair a little more shinier so it looks like it's been it's kind of wet throughout the day but it's obviously dry but it just makes your hair look shinier and just adds a lot more definition to your curls and once you're done with all of that you are going to finally get off the shower and I usually just put my hair up in a towel so it stays out of the way and then get ready and let's start the after process. 
So step number 11 is to put in the coconut oil mist after your hair is a little damp. So that's why I put my hair up. I don't want it soaking wet, but I want it a little damp so I can still work it through my hair. So I just spray this all over my hair. And honestly, what this does is just make sure the moisture is still in your hair and it just keeps it very soft and moisturized. And that's what you want during the day. You don't want dry curls, you want some moisturized curls. And my last step is to put in the curl activator cream. Um, so this one I really more incorporate towards the bottom of my hair, um, but I like to put it through everything. This really locks in your curls. It keeps it very, very, very like strong and just curly. Because <laughs> sometimes during the day your hair kind of frizzes out from the weather or whatever is outside, but this really does keep your curls very locked in and it keeps them looking very, very curly. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And if you want any more type of hair videos, let me know down below. Um, I know this is very informative for a lot of young women who don't know how to do their curls. And it was informative for me as well. So just let me know if you need anything else. But before you go, I just want to show you what my hair looks like when it's completely dry. As you can see, it looks very, very shiny and very curly. It is really nice. Thank you guys. Bye. Hello everyone, um, it is move-in day for me at my sorority. I'm gonna be moving into my sorority in about an hour or so. Um, so yesterday night my boyfriend came over and we packed up my room for the most part.